Repeated traumatic brain injury is a major health concern. Far and away, the biggest risk for traumatic brain injury is in a patient who has suffered a prior traumatic brain injury. That is to say, those individuals who have had one injury are susceptible to having another. Some of the common symptoms of traumatic brain injury, which put a person at risk for acquiring additional injuries to the head, include fatigue, headache, dizziness, vertigo, changes in reaction time, balance or coordination, loss of attention, impaired judgment, impulsivity, and aggressiveness. Brain injury will heal to a certain point, and if that patient makes a complete recovery, a second injury may not necessarily portend a worse outcome. We do know, however, in, in watching patients, for instance, over long periods of time in professional football and other sports, that um, if somebody has not recovered from a traumatic brain injury, has a second and a third insult, that they will never usually get back to their baseline. If we've not recovered from our first brain injury and then have a second injury, the effects are more than cumulative. They become uh, greater to recover from. One of the concepts that has been, I think, meaningfully applied to neuropsychology and to the brain sciences is that there may be something called a brain reserve capacity. The brain has many redundant pathways, so to speak, and it can take different injuries at different times. And because of the multiplicity of pathways, uh, the individual continues to f function pretty well uh, as they go along. However, with multiple trauma, we believe that uh, the amount of redundancy that is available shrinks. So as primary care providers, as acute care providers, we need to let patients know that. You're at an increased risk and you need to be aware that you need to move more cautiously, you need to rest more, and don't engage in any even remotely risky activities until your symptoms are resolved.